Hey trail riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about stirred, but not shaken. Our scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Genesis 46, 28 through 48, verse 22. Psalm 16, 7 through 11. Proverbs 3, 19 and 20. And then Matthew 17, 14 through chapter 18, verse 9. Again, we're going to be talking about not what James Bond was, but what we got here in a good good lesson, stirred, but not shaken. Our scripture is going to come from Psalm 16, verse 8, which says, Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Whenever I have the opportunity to address Christian counselors, fellow believers, and ministers of the gospel, I try to urge them to put the glory of God before their clients' well-being. A good deal of Christian counseling today follows the client-centered approach, where the person is all-important. Thus, more attention is paid to how the person has been hurt by others and how he or she may be hurting God by being unwilling to trust him. This is a very sensitive issue and I, counselors have been told and trained that it must never be brought up until other issues have been explored and understood. But ultimately, however, this is the issue that we all face today, whether we are counseling or not. Ask, you, ask yourself this question. Do I allow myself to be more overwhelmed by the wrong which people have done to me than the wrong I might have done and may still be doing? To God, by my willingness to trust Him, putting the glory of God before the well-being of does not go down well with some modern day Christians brought up in the me generation. It means that we have to break away from the idea that life revolves around our desires, our ambitions, our self-image, our personal comfort, our hurts, our problems, and embrace the fact that it, res it resolves revolves instead around the glory and the will of God. When we learn how to apply this great text before us today to our lives, we will find, as did the psalmist, that when we set the Lord always before us, then no matter what happens, we will be stirred and not shaken. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we, we are thankful for the ever remind, always reminding us that we cannot avoid our souls being stirred by life's problems. But when we have set you before, ever before us, then we can avoid being shaken. Drive this truth deep down into our hearts and into our being this very day. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this, look at 1 Samuel 4, 1 through 22, Exodus 33, 12 through 18, and Psalm 29, verse 1 through 2. Is there a parallel between this account and today's church? Question number one. Question number two, what was Moses' request? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continue to follow me here on the Daily Ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.